Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well PHP tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PHP function sum. Now this is going to get the sum of all the elements within an array. And I'm also going to show you how to get the average of those elements as well. Let's get into the code. So the first thing I need is an array that has numeric values. So let's go ahead and build one. I'm going to have an array called costs. And this array is going to contain the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 10. Okay, what I want to do is sum all of those together. So this is going to do an addition. We're going to find the sum value of all of these elements. To do that, we need to use the array underscore sum function. So let's type array underscore sum. Before I add the arguments to this function call, let's go and take a look at the documentation. So this function takes one argument. This is the array that you want to find the sum of. This is a link to the documentation. Please do check it out for other examples. The parameter that you supply is the array. This is the input array and it returns an integer or a floating point, the sum of values as an integer or float. Okay, so let's go back to the code and start playing around with this function. So what I'm going to do is pass in the costs variable into this function call. We're also going to print out the output. Now all of this code is available. I put a link to this in the show notes below. There's also a link to another video that shows you how to use the PHP internal local host that you can use to test your work. So save your work and then go to the browser and point to the array underscore sum dot PHP file. As we can see, this array underscore sum function calculated that the sum of the array elements comes to 26. Let's see what the average number is within this array. So what I'm going to do is print out a second result. This means that I need to create a new line here. Let's just type print and then br like so. So what I'm going to do now is find the average number within this array. And to do that, we need to use a function that I've already demonstrated in a previous tutorial, and that is the count function. Now I've got a link to that tutorial in the show notes below. Essentially, what I need to do is find the sum of this, which we've already got, which is 26. And then I need to divide that by the count of the elements. So once again, type print so we can actually see the output and then array underscore sum. Pass in the variable costs as we've done before. Now this time we want to divide this sum by the count of the array elements. So let's divide that by the count of the costs. Okay, save your work and go back into the browser. Once you refresh the page, you'll see that the average cost is 5.2. If you found this video helpful, then do let me know. Give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to the How to Code Well YouTube channel so you don't miss out on other tutorials and courses like this. If you've got any coding questions, please ask them on the Discord server. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord. Also, do check out the other courses and tutorials that I have at howtocodewell.net. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everybody. And I will see you again in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.